My, my favorite saying uh, about this company is we haven't even made our best beer yet. So it's an evolution. And so the evolution began with the 22 ounce uh, Hops of Wrath back in 09. With, the response was great. We had it on draft locally as well. The uh, response, was, response was so good that, there's my grandpa's train. Uh, the response was so good that my uh, brewer and I decided to go with the uh, 12 ounce six pack. We felt like we needed to follow the 22 ounce up with the 12 ounce six pack and it worked out great. From there we, we started going big. So uh, we, we did a, a double IPA, Son of Wrath, a lot angrier, uh, a lot more rebellious than, than the hops and turned out fantastic. Uh, we then graduated to the therapist. Um, you, you will not need a therapist uh, if you drink these on a, on a daily basis, just one a day, keeps the, the doctor away and uh, it's a lot cheaper. So uh, great Imperial IPA that we came up with. Obviously the name is not Dust Bowl, but it's fun, it's playful and we, we love it. It's one of our favorites. Uh, we went back to the Dust Bowl theme with the Black Blizzard and the Great Impression. Very big malty beers, uh, seasonally produced um, during the winter months. Um, we then went to a spring beer with Super Tramp. The Hobo is a, we're very fond of that. It, it refers to my, to many hobos of the era, but my grandfather was a, a true life, real life hobo. So he made his way out to California in the thir early 30s and late 20s on the, on the rails, and he was a gambler. I'm sure he had a few beers along the way. He was an explorer. On the bottom of these bottles, you can see where we have this slogan, this motto, this saying. Uh, we, we call it turn it wrong side up responsibly. Back in the 30s, there was these cattle ranchers and the Indians of the Great Plains told these farmers that came west, they said, hey, don't turn this land up. That's not what it's for. It's for grazing, for cattle, for buffalo to roam. That's what the land is for. And these farmers, very greedy, turned the land over to plant their wheat crops, which was very uh, lucrative in that time. And they didn't listen to the, the indigenous people, you might say. So there's a, there's a story about a young man saying, Dad, how come the earth is blowing away? And the dad says, because they turned it wrong side up, son. So that's where we get the, the same. And uh, we like it, so we're going to go with it. All right.